you guys. Okay, I promised y'all I would do an updated um, makeup tutorial and what I've been kind of switching up and doing a little differently lately. I've got my hair in rollers, so it's gonna be pulled back and I'm gonna kind of just do a rolled hair look today. Um, but I've got everything set up here. I'm gonna show you all the products that I've been using lately. There's some oldies, there's some new ones. Um, and yeah, I hope you like my tutorial. It's been a minute since I've done like a full blown makeup tutorial for y'all. Um, and you know, the thing with makeup is there's always new products. There's always some new trick that's coming out, new tips. So I like to stay up on the cool new trends just, to, you know, to make sure, I don't know if there's something cool and new that I need to know about that's going to help me, you know, do my makeup a little better or feel better about myself. I want to know about it. So I'm here to share with you guys everything that I've learned. Um, recently, you know, I've worked with some amazing makeup artists and I just love makeup. So, okay, let's get started. So I've already put moisturizer on my face. Always start with the moisturizer. Um, and sometimes, you know, if you do it, um, tinted moisturizer, that's good. Or if you have SPF, you know, there's all sorts of, um, moisturizers out there, but I'm going to, I'm going to put on the shimmer, this Becca shimmer. So I'm going to put a little bit here. Just a little bit in my hand. Oh, it looks like there's something dark on there. I want to get that on my face. Right here, and I'm gonna just kind of put it all over my face. Now, what I'm showing you this time is a more, um, this is gonna be a little bit more matte than you're used to seeing on me. You're used to seeing me super duper shiny. And I like to be super duper shiny typically. I just feel like when you look dewy, you look younger and more refreshed. Um, but lately I've been really into kind of a more powdered matte look, which is very, my mom says it's so eighties and early nineties. And so, um, I'm kind of loving it, but I'm going to try my best to share with you guys the products because I'm really bad at remembering to be like, this is the product. So for those, whatever I just put on my face, which looks super nice and, um, dewy is Moonstone by Becca. So that's what I've started with. Okay. Next I'm going to put my foundation on. I'm gonna use Light Wonder. This is number eight, this is medium. I'm not as tan as I usually am, so I don't know if this is gonna look um, like the wrong color. I mean, it's a little darker than usual, but I'm just gonna go for it because I don't have my other stuff down here. This is, I usually have like number six and number seven for when I'm not as olive complected, but I'm not gonna go all the way upstairs, so you'll just see it's just gonna be a little bit more um, tan right now. So, so yeah, that's Light Wonder Charlotte Tilbury. Tilbury, Tilbury. And I'm just gonna sponge it. This is that Beauty Blender. I'm obsessed with Beauty Blender. It's just my favorite way. And I'm just gonna kind of really tap it into my face. Don't forget to hit your brows. You just want, it's the worst whenever you like put your foundation on and then you can tell where you didn't put it all in. You just want to get it all in your face. And as you saw, I didn't use that much. I just put a little squirt there and there you have it. So put a little bit in here. My face is usually a lot lighter than my skin because obviously I'm exfoliating and do all kinds of things. But if you look, I mean, it's not too far away from um, my arm. Okay, so now I've got that on. Now I'm going to skip ahead and I'm gonna go straight to my eyes. So I'm gonna use my Jessie eyeshadow palette. It's pretty banged up as you can see, because I love it. And I'm gonna go for Let's Get Nude just to kind of set my eye a little bit. I'm not looking for it to be an intense color. I'm just looking for it to, you know, almost be the base. Now, if you're going somewhere and you have like a long night out, it's always good to put a little bit of a primer on your eyelid. I'm not doing that right now, but if you don't have a primer, sometimes I will take like this Becca and I'll put a little, tap a little on my eyeshadow. That way the eyeshadow sticks to your eye and then you know it's not going anywhere for a while. So when I have like a long night or a show or something, Jess will do that for me and she'll put a primer and like, it is so hard to take off by the end of the night. I'm like, girl, you like glued this on here, but it's good. Um, so I'm going to take another brush and I'm gonna go for, I'm gonna go for, let's see, hot chocolate. 
And I'm not using a lot of shimmers today. Remember, this is a matte. So I'm gonna put a little bit in the crease here. Just like that. And then I'm gonna take a little bit and put it on the corner here as if I'm creating like a little bit of a cat eye with the eyeshadow. Yeah, that looks good. I'm just gonna keep going around that eye. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do a little bit more. I'm gonna go on the other side. Get all up in that crease. Now, obviously, you can tell I have eyelash extensions on. I tried so hard to give them up. Y'all saw. You knew. I just couldn't. It was so hard. I thought I looked really sick. Like, I looked ill without them. I'm just so used to them now. I've been wearing them since I was 19 years old. And it's my only, like, super high-maintenance thing that I keep up with. But I actually think, in the like, truthfully, it's low-maintenance because... I get them because I'm lazy. I don't want to be putting makeup on every day if I don't have to, and the eyelashes just make it so easy. Okay, so that is on. You've got the dark. Now I'm gonna take the other side, and I'm also gonna dab it in the hot chocolate, and I'm just gonna get under this eye just a little bit. We're gonna go back over it later, but I just wanna get in here now. Okay, okay, okay. I feel like that looks pretty good. Yes, indeed. Okay, now I'm gonna take my other, the eyes take a minute, y'all. I'm gonna take the other and I'm gonna go for another eyeshadow palette. So I am loving Kim Kardashian's um, new makeup. I know it's not new, but like it's new to me. I, I didn't really use it and um, I'm really loving it. So this is her matte the KKW matte. And I'm gonna go in and use this one, the really, really light. I don't think she named them. Yes, she did. This one's name is Cream. And I'm gonna hit underneath my eyebrows. I, I just have super heavy eyebrows, always have. So it's good to give a little bit of separation between your brows um, and your eyeshadow crease here. And I'm gonna hit a little bit right there too. I really wanna separate them. So that pops. I'm gonna to get to my brows in a minute. I usually don't need too much. Um, I don't pencil too much in, but I just like to fill in a few gaps, you know? So I'm really hitting in there. And it seems like I'm putting a lot. I'm just doing a little bit of a time at a time because I don't wanna overload it. Okay, so I've hit that. Now I'm gonna also take that same color, that cream, and I'm gonna just get right on my lid here. See what a difference that makes? That just makes your eye pop. So just gonna hit that top there. I'm just like counting until the kids run in here and interrupt my video. I'm just like, I'm surprised they haven't yet. What are we in, like nine minutes, 10 minutes? I don't know. Okay, see, look how it like makes your eye pop. Just makes it look so much bigger. Okay. Got that going on. Now I'm gonna do one more color for my eye. Um, what am I gonna do? I think I'm feeling, what's that one? Bourbon. So bourbon is this one. It's, it's a pretty dark color. And I'm gonna hit it one more time in that crease of mine. Just one more time. I mean, can you believe it? I have like no shimmer on. This is so unlike me. But I just, I'm kind of loving it. I really want it just to kind of extend out there on the sides. I'm looking in the mirror, but I'm also trying to look in the phone at the same time. Okay. All right. I feel like eyes are pretty done at this point. I may at the very end put a little bit of like shimmer right there to pop just a little but my eyes are my eyeshadow is done now we're gonna go and we're gonna start contouring now so let's get started so there's all kinds of contour creams out there um i like this stuff called bronzino by tower this is some good stuff um i also love charlotte tilbury's um she's got like a little bit of a bronzer stick and you can also use just like a powder. This is one of my, this is like an OG that I use, the Hula Car Caramel. 
I love this stuff. This stuff is great. Um, and then I've got this shimmer here, but I think what I'm gonna do is we're gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury one just because, I mean, it's, look, it's dead. It's almost gone, I gotta get more. And I'm gonna take my little brush here and I'm just gonna rub it in there a little bit like that. We're just gonna hit those cheeks. We're gonna contour it up. Really need to get more of this. It's not coming out very well. Okay, I'm just gonna hit that aside. Looks good, right? I'm gonna go down my nose just a little. I'm gonna hit on her here chin and then we're gonna go up top so I like to get as close to my hairline as possible it can really help contour your face make your forehead just look a little shorter if that's what you like I kind of like that look but this is dead I can't use anymore so we're gonna go to tower and tower works great too I just was trying to make a point of how much I love Charlotte Tilbury I love this stuff too okay we're gonna hit all, all up in those brow I mean hairline area see this stuff's a little stronger I think that's part of why I didn't want to go for it because I'm gonna have to sit here and blend and I don't have all day to be doing that and then you're gonna go on that jaw it's just all these little tricks really hit that jawline so it gives you a square I've always had a pretty good jawline I will say thanks to grinding my teeth my whole life I grind my teeth in my sleep I got a mouth guard the whole thing I hate to say it that I'm so bad and I don't stay on top of it. It gives me crazy migraines, um, but it did give me a strong jaw. I mean, it is like, oh, it is so hard, y'all. When I, I, if someone's like doing my makeup that's never worked with me before and they're touching my face, they're like, oh my God. I'm like, I don't know. It's just for me grinding my teeth at night. So I feel like I'm pretty contoured. I hope you guys can see this okay. I like, I usually do my makeup tutorials in the worst lighting in my bathroom, but I was trying to like make it a little fancier for you guys today. Um, I'm gonna kinda, kinda rub everything in. Fancier and I have like all these fancy lights, you can't see them, but they're super fancy schmancy because I'm trying to do a legit job for y'all. Um, but I'm worried that you can't, it's like so bright you can't really see. All the colors. I guess you kind of can. Um, okay, so we're pretty contoured. We're blended. I'm pretty happy. I keep looking this way because I'm looking in the mirror too. I just want to make sure it looks right. Okay, next I want to hit my brows. Let's go ahead and start getting these guys going. So I'm going to brush them up and all I'm going to do is just kind of fill in a little bit here. And then I'm going to, I always have this little space here. I wish it would grow in. It won't grow. I like to brush it up just a little bit in there to fill it in. This side grows. Okay. A little bit of a square. I've always had, now again, I'm not saying like you can grab this brush and you're going to have thick eyebrows or this pencil. I've always had thick eyebrows. Y'all known that just ever since I was little, just big thick brows they're just they happen to be cool now so I roll with it I'm just gonna extend it all the way down and then brows are done and then sometimes something I like to do is I like to just <laughs> I like to darken my mold just a little bit okay so next we are going to what should we do next um oh and we're gonna gel the brows let's do that just kind of so they sit up before there was fancy gel, my mom would have a toothbrush and hairspray, and that's what she would do. That works just as well, if not better. All right, next we're gonna do our eyeliner and mascara. Um, so usually I like to do a pencil. You can just use any old black eyeliner pencil. Um, I don't think it makes too much of a difference. I'm gonna hit the corners here. Now I'm showing you kind of a glam look. I wouldn't be doing all this. Like I think my next tutorial I'll do for y'all is just like a quick, um, just day look. So, you know, one that's not so much makeup. I'm just giving you an idea of like, if I'm going somewhere like a date or a party or something, 
this is kind of the full thing. So I like to kind of outline the what I'm gonna do because I'm gonna go over it with liquid. Here, dolls. That looks good. The other side. Eyeliner tends to stress a lot of people out, and I don't blame you. It's not my favorite part either, but it's it's necessary for me. It's it's an eye changer. I used to have a one of my best girlfriends. We were roommates back in the day in Nashville. She was like one of my best girlfriends, um, Hallie, who's in New York now. But she used to, when we lived together, we would travel together. She was like, she would just come in with her eyeliner pencil and just hand it to me. She was like, it stresses me out. Okay, got the outline of it. And now I'm gonna go, um, I'm gonna take a brown and I'm gonna put it just kind of on the water line here. Love a good brown pencil. And I'm gonna hit it a little bit here and just kind of connect them. Okay, and now I'm gonna go over it with the liquid. This is from just like CVS. This is by L'Oreal. I'm gonna get it. I might need to look in this mirror here. Oh, you can't see me that way. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Shit, you guys, I'm trying to like do it at least once. All right, I'll have to clean it up in a second. It's hard for me to look in this camera and because obviously it looks the same in the phone, but not as, I don't know. Yeah, that looks good. I'm just gonna make sure it's straight. Okay, now I'm gonna go with this other eye. I'm telling you, when you go over it with that pencil first, you just like have the perfect line to hit with the liquid liner, so it makes things a little easier. So I'm gonna hit this here. Okay, that looks pretty even, if you ask me. Okay, the liquid is on. I'm gonna clean up that little dot in a second. And now, what are we gonna do next, you guys? I'm like on the spot, because we're on camera. All right, let's do the blush. And we're gonna use this. This is Patrick Ta, I really love it. There's a powder option, and then there is a cream. I like the cream, so we're gonna, a little cream, you're gonna smile, and you're just gonna hit those cheeks. <laughs> All right, hit the cheeks. Now, let's get to, um, let's do the mascara now. Because then we're gonna, we got a whole under eye situation to hit. And that's like, that's a whole thing in itself. Now, if you would have asked me, oh, and by the way, I'm using this stuff. I mean, everybody has this stuff. It's dead. It's the L'Oreal. I love this mascara using this since like high school. Okay, so what was I gonna tell you? Oh, the whole under eye situation, that is just like, when I was younger, I don't even think I'd bother to put concealer on, but now they have these babies and I don't sleep anymore. It takes a whole moment on its own to get these under eyes under control. Fit under the eye. Okay, looks pretty good. You're not really supposed to be putting mascara on these lash extensions, but I do anyway. Okay, so now that we've got that going on, the eyes I would say are done. The only last touch I wanna hit on for the eyes are um, I'm gonna grab my eyeshadow palette one more time and I'm gonna take the end of this little, this one's a little bit in here, the end of this, and I'm just gonna hit the here kitty kitty. It's the last little touch. We're just gonna go in and we're gonna hit this part of your eye. It's the only shimmer I'm gonna do for the eyes. It's just right in here. And this is just a must because I feel like, look what that just did. It just makes your eyes pop. So just hit a little bit on that part right there. Okay, cool. Feel good about that. All right. So I'm gonna take my little Neutrogena makeup. These are my favorite makeup wipes. Um, 
I take them everywhere with me for my babes. And I'm gonna clean underneath the eyes, which is what you should do. Cause you don't, you wanna put as like least amount of makeup as you can underneath here. So it doesn't look cakey and I don't like the cakey thing. So I cleaned up underneath. You guys, this lighting is so good that you can't even see how sad and dark these circles are. Like this is just, I feel like this is misleading. I, this is an amazing mood light. I'm gonna have to show you what this light is. Um, okay, but I usually wake up deep sunken. It's just hereditary, sunken in. There's just, it's a whole thing. Um, okay, so usually what I would do, and I don't think I have it down here. I think I made that mistake, let me check. Usually I would put like a little, I would dab a little under eye cream just to moisturize. I didn't bring it down here. This is my new office. It's still a work in progress, but I'm trying to like bring some of my stuff down here because it's just overflowing to Eric's side at this point and he's had enough of that. All right, so I'm gonna take, I've got two things to share with you when we do this whole eye process. Um, I under eye camouflage is just like a dream come true for me. It has just changed my life because again, it's really helped my under eyes um, to look so much better and less sleepy. I'm gonna share with you my two favorite products right now. This is the Charlotte Tilbury. I know you guys have heard me talk about it before. This one, or Kim has an under eye camouflage called Correct. That is amazing. They both are great. So they're both amazing. I'll show you the, the Kim one. I bet it's a little bit more affordable. And you're just gonna dab all in here. And they have all different colors and shades on her site. So it's for all skin tones. I went for the one where it's like a little bit more for an olive complexion, even though I am very pale for me right now. And I'm gonna take my little sponge and I'm gonna hit it all in there. Okay. I mean, seriously, look at that. That helps so much, that's crazy. Okay, now that that is all camouflage, I'm going to do, I'm gonna let that kind of sit, and I'm gonna do my under eye concealer. We're gonna use NARS today. I love NARS, you guys know I also love, I think it's, um, what's it called? Let me see if it's in here. I'm just trying to show you some new stuff if you want just some new ideas. I do love um, Magic um, Away concealer for like a lighter concealer, um, but I'm gonna show you this one. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna take a little bit and I'm gonna hit in here again. Just so you can see, I'm trying to get real close for you. This light is almost too good. I'm just gonna sit in front of this light because I'm having a bad day. Because it just, it's good. It really kind of brightens and washes everything out. All right, it, just so you know, it's called UB size. Uh, I got our Amazon. All right, now we're gonna sponge. Oh, I'll tell you the color of this. Did I tell you the color? Radiant Creamy Concealer. The color is medium to ginger. So if you have a skin tone like me, um, I would recommend this one. Okay. We've got that all rubbed in. Now I'm gonna take my concealer and I'm gonna just kind of dot all in my T-zone. I'm gonna go a little bit down my nose. Hit in here, hit in here. And then I'm just gonna go over just in here because I have a little bit melasma. And I like to do a little bit there. Oh, and sometimes if you really want your cheek, the your contour to pop, I'll do a little bit like this because it's a little bit lighter so that it really makes your cheeks pop. I know I look crazy, but just watch. So I'm gonna rub this all in. Sponge, 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 sponge. Okay, got this all rubbed in, all the way down. And then I'm gonna hit in here. Okay, that looks good. Okay, so as far as like concealer and all that, that's, this is done. Okay, now we are going to, I'm gonna let this kind of chill out for a minute and I'm gonna go to my lips because I'm gonna powder my face in a minute. 
So I know I told you guys I'm really loving Kim's lip liners and stuff. So we're gonna go with um, one of her lip liners. I don't know which one I'm feeling right now. This one's a little darker. These are super great. This one's Russet and this one is Nude 1.5. Let's go with nude 1.5. I don't know if I want to have a super dark lip right now. So I'm gonna go on this way. And I did forget to do one little thing. One thing that you can do, take a little bit of your illuminator. If you have it on, you know, the, sh the shimmer. Just a little bit, dab in your finger. This can help make your lips look even fuller. I'm gonna rub it there. I'm just gonna hit on top. That way the line, look at that. That's gonna make your lips look huge. I know, all these tricks I'm learning. Okay, now I'm gonna go, I'm gonna line my lips. I thought that would be a blubber, but it was just a little lump of concealer. I was like, have I had that this whole time? Y'all don't wanna tell me? Y'all know I love to overline. I'm glad it's cool now. When I started doing it back in the day, I knew it wasn't as cool. It was like, that's the girl that overlines her lips. Well, everybody's doing it now, so. Oh, just so you know, I grabbed her darker one too, because it was like, not dark enough on the top, the russet one. And I'm just gonna kind of like hit it like that. So it doesn't look like. So it looks even over here, but when on here it doesn't as much. Okay. Now I'm gonna do the lipstick. I'm gonna take this MAC. It's called Velvet Teddy. And I'm gonna take my lip kit um, lipstick. And this is like the OG packaging. This was like from years ago. I just have so many of them and I still use it. I'm sure it's fine. Okay. So I'm gonna grab a little brush, a little brushy. And I'm gonna start with the MAC one. And I'm just gonna start. So this is a little pinkier, but I'm just gonna start that way first. Just to kind of stain it. I think it's so pretty. And then I'm gonna go and grab my, my favorite color. It's not just because it's my lip kit, I just genuinely think it's the best color. And I'm gonna go over it. Just so you can see. Is there something on it? Yeah, looks like a shaving from a pencil. Okay, and then I'm gonna finish it off with a lip gloss that we have in development right now. I think it's so pretty. Okay, gloss is on, lips are done. It looks much pinkier here for some reason. I don't really know why, but it's like a nude pink. It's not as pinky as it's appearing to be. Well, whatever. Okay, so now we're going to hit um, the under eye. We're gonna powder is what it's time to do. Um, again, I'm really loving these Kim products. I went crazy and bought like all of them. And I am just in love with them. So we're gonna use her little brush that she has. And this is called Bake. And I really like this idea. So you need to wet this. And you'll put a little bit here. And I'm gonna, you're gonna hit it like that. And you're gonna start with your eye here. And you're gonna just really hit it in that crease there. Like you want it to be so powdered that you look insane. I know, I know, it just seems kind of crazy. Trust me. You wanna just really hit in there. Take a little bit there. And I just like, I'm gonna hit a little bit there too. All right. So now that that is done, you're gonna take the end of your brush and you're gonna just sweep it away. Sweep it away. I'm gonna put 
me to sleep. So you really want those lines here. You want that, just a big contrast, okay. Okay, the last thing I'm gonna do is we're going to do a little bit of bronzer because we did the cream in the crease for the contouring, but we did not bronze. Um, we're gonna do, um, I have a bronzer in development. I haven't shared a lot with you guys, but I do have some makeup in development more. And so this is what's in development and I'm gonna just show you a little bit what it looks like. So I'm gonna hit that crease again, a little bit there, a little bit there, a bit in here. nice you always want to go from here to here to here just kind of make like a three oh oh let me brush that eyebrow up before I really tell y'all I'm finished okay and there you have it my makeup is all done I hope this was super helpful um, I'm so sorry if I missed some of the names of the products for you guys again so I'm not the best at this I'm not the best at like remembering I'm good at just kind of going for it and showing it to you um but I hope that it was helpful maybe you can kind of screenshot I'm going to take my rollers out now and then I just I might as well show you the whole finished deal I love rollers I just think they make things so much easier everyone should have some rollers you can go get you some Conair ones. Okay. So, ah, did that. And there we go. My hair is done. I'll like style it a little differently, but hair is done. Makeup is done. And I am ready to go. I hope this was helpful for y'all. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if there's any other makeup tutorials or any other ideas that you would love for me to share, please let me know. I'm gonna try to be better at doing more things like this because I do enjoy it. I love makeup, I love beauty. Y'all know that I do. It's just so much fun. Um, and I don't know, I just I feel like we're having a little conversation. Even though I'm the only one talking, I still feel like you're interacting with me and it's just this is just a fun way to interact together. and talk about something that we both love, which I'm sure is a lot of fun makeup girly stuff. So, okay, enjoy, and I'll talk to y'all later. And Loretta Lynn is queen, bye. I promised you I would show you what the um, ring light is that I use, because I think this is like one of the best ones I've ever used. It really like makes you just shine, and it brightens things up, and I love it. So. You can kind of see my little setup. This is what everything looked like when I was doing <laughs> my tutorial for y'all. Um, but it's this little thing. It's called UB, capital U, capital B, EE, -E, size. UB size. Um, it comes with like a whole long, like a whole, I guess, a little get up if you want it to be tall or short. I don't know if it could go this short, so I just kind of unscrewed it and sat it on top of um, like a makeup compact. So it worked for me. But okay, just wanted to make sure you saw it because I was telling you that I thought it was cool.